Welcome back to the Tool Crib. You know, the other day I was on Leatherman's website and basically what I was doing is I was going through and seeing which multi-tools from Leatherman I don't currently own and trying to decide if I wanted to purchase something else. Well, I ran across the knifeless rebar. And what the knifeless rebar is, is it basically takes away the two knife blades and adds in a pair of scissors. And it's a, it's a multi-tool that would be TSA compliant so that you can, you know, you don't have to worry about getting it confiscated for the knife blades every time you were to pass through an airport if you happen to forget that you had it on you. And I thought to myself, you know, why did Leatherman do that in the old fuse and now the rebar, but not in the Wave, the more popular of the two platforms? And the more I thought about it, the more I tried to envision a how I would build out a knifeless version of the wave. And I have some thoughts on that and I'd like to share them with you. And really I think that the wave would be an excellent platform to make a knifeless version. And for one main reason really, and for what I can think of, that there's a lot of people that use the wave, but they don't necessarily quite like how it's configured. There's some people that uh, you know they're going to want an all. There's other people that they don't have any use for the serrated blade, would rather get rid of, of that blade. And so if they had another multi-tool that they could purchase, I can, I can see a lot of people buying a knifeless version to mix and match with their wave the components that best work for them. So that would be definitely a reason to build a knifeless version of the wave. Now, obviously, something like that, if you were to do something like that, you're, you're voiding your warranty because you're breaking into the multi-tool and disassembling it. But nonetheless, I think the knifeless, a knifeless version of the wave would be a great idea. So let me share with you my thoughts on what I think a knifeless version of the wave would look like. So on the Leatherman Wave Plus, we have four external tools. We have a serrated blade, a standard blade, a file, and a saw. Now the file and the saw would remain because they are tools. So now we're looking at getting rid of the two knife blades. And I have a couple of different versions of what I think would work well in a knifeless version. The first and foremost is we get rid of the serrated blade and incorporate a set of scaled down scissors from the surge. Basically the same design, everything, because the search scissors work exceedingly well. They're very, very good scissors. And just a slightly smaller version of this in the Wave would be an excellent tool for the first slot. Now for the second knife, there's a couple of ways I thought about this. I'm a, I'm a big fan of the package opener on the Wingman. But that's a little too short just to have that as a single tool. So I thought about a way that Leatherman kind of incorporated uh, two tools in the Leatherman Free P4 where they added a bottle cap lifter into the screwdriver. Now, one other thing is if this were made as an external tool, it would definitely need to be thickened up such as the, the screwdriver here. Maybe as it gets further down, it would taper down, but it would start out you know, fairly robust. And I could see an extended version of the uh, of the package opener with an incorporated bottle cap lifter so it would give you two things. First of all you have outside accessible package opener and easy access bottle cap lifter for those that definitely need that. So I think that would be a, a, a good tool. Now one other thing I thought of in, in lieu of the, that particular tool would be to take something like we have in the OHT where it has the strap cutter with integrated screwdriver and the oxygen wrench. That could also be a good tool to put in, in uh, the fourth slot for the outer slots. And now I'm turning our attention to the inside of the wave. A few of the tools I think should stay. I like the bid driver for sure, the bid exchanger. I like this tool. Even though if we were to kind of incorporate a bottle cap lifter, it would really have two maybe they might want to consider going to something like the uh the bottle uh, the can opener like is on a free series tool i don't necessarily like that one i'd rather this this stay because i really like that the fact that it has that integrated wire stripper in there as well so i would i would advocate for keeping that i also like the quarter inch driver 
I think that should definitely stay. Now, since we're, we've already moved the scissors to the outside, the scissors is the first thing that can go. And let me just close this up just a bit here so we take a little better look at this. Now, the one tool that would definitely be valuable in the wave, and a lot of people do this already, is they take the awl out of the rebar. And because the pliers, it has to go past the pliers, the, the awl is a little longer and because it's on that far side, it would be able to pass through. So definitely replacing the scissors in the wave for an awl would be an excellent idea, even if they had to make a different version of the awl, but something close or similar to the awl on the rebar, I think would be an excellent choice. Now for the last tool, I'm kind of on the fence because I've, I've heard the arguments for a lot of people that really like this micro driver. And I understand why. There's there's a lot of use out of it for the right person. But what if we also had a version? Let's just consider this for the moment. They have a version that, the standard wave, and then the knifeless version so that you could interchange whichever you want. So you don't want to have all the same tools if you can avoid it because that'll give you the ability to mix and match. So what if they took something like the smaller driver on the, on the P4 or the large, the 316 slotted driver, but that it incorporates that little package cutter. Now this is not the same thing as the package opener on the Wingman. The Wingman is excellent at opening up clamshells. The P4, it works, but it's not. that's not where it's really great at. It's actually better for cutting like packaging tape on, on cardboard boxes. So it actually works better than the Wingman's cut edge for that purpose. So I like the idea of having both of them. Or possibly a different version of this, maybe a chisel would, would fit better in there. And I think that would make an outstanding multi-tool if they were to do something like that. And you know, it would give you a lot of function, but then you would have a TSA compliant multi-tool that you don't have to worry about getting confiscated. And the fact of the matter is, I could think you know I've heard this from a lot of people a lot of people don't even use the knife blades on their multi-tools because they carry a separate dedicated folder so having a completely just a tooled version of the wave plus the most popular multi-tool in the world I think would go over really really well now these are just some of my ideas and I haven't put a whole lot of thought in it just kind of scratching the surface if you will now if you guys have some thoughts on what would work better for you in a knifeless version of the wave I would be glad to hear them uh, there's so many different things that could be incorporated in when you're getting rid of two blades and now you've expanded your possibilities on how you can range all the tools within the Leatherman wave I, I really think it opens up a lot of doors you know, if you guys have an idea for a multi-tool, or if you've already done modifications to your own multi-tool, and you want them featured here on the channel, I would be happy to put them on the channel. Just send me an email at txtoolcrib at gmail.com. Be descriptive. Tell me why you've done things a certain way, why you've included or excluded certain tools, why it works best for you, and include some high-quality pictures, and I would be happy to feature it here. Now. I want to try something a little bit different. We're going to end this video. And we're going to call it tip of the day. And today's tip is if you have to park illegally, make sure you leave your windshield wipers on. That way the meter maid can't give you a ticket. I'll see you in the next one.